emotes out there for everybody into GG. I don't need my own emote though. I really don't. It's, yeah. But just in I, case I everybody, it, it's um, a little fun fact I like to tell everybody. I think everybody in 2GG has like an emote that kind of like represents every member, so to speak. Uh, but we can talk about that later. We are seeing Colonies vs. Echo Fire. I, I want to say if I'm correct, Vance, that both these players have qualified for the offline portion of the uh, Smash World Tour, too. That is correct. So they've, yeah, they've definitely had some success in their respective regional events for that. Man, I, I love how acrobatically Colonies plays this character. All the like B reverses is really wonderful, and I think Town actually really helps Young Link a lot. Yeah, having that space to just move around your opponent as well, and also being able to just trap your opponent all together at the same time. Those fire arrows, being able to like Young Link gets complimented by the stage simply because he's fast enough. He has the space to be aggressive or defensive when he wants to. Especially against a character like Ness, this is a stage you more want to opt to pick here. Especially if your Colony is flying up against one of the greatest, like you know. Latin American Nesses out there, so you want a stage that'll yeah. be good for you here. Great DI coming out from Colonius. Uh, he's gonna dip a little bit low. That bomb only gives him a second up but the timer and oh, was not enough, no. and he will drop down. That was a little, little unfortunate for Colonies and Echo Fire Man just to edge his way towards taking that first stock. So far, Echo Fire has done a lot of, has actually had a pretty relatively successful time landing, but not quite there. Big call out there by Colonies able to take the stock. Oh, that is ball game. pretty even indeed uh, for a colony. So like I said, this stage allows him to kind of back off or be a little bit aggressive, especially com combined with Young Link's speed here. So he is trying to find an opportunity to get a massive pick. And once he can get that pick, man, he will confirm an aerial to aerial to get a lead here. But Colony is having a difficult time against Echo Fire. But here's the boomerang. There is no grab. There is the up to cover it. And now Colony is slowly as he eases Echo Fire towards the ledge. But what a reversal, too. Yeah, that was good in there. Let's jump cancel uh, PK Fire looking for the yo yo at ledge and now oh, almost capitalized the PK Flash. Uh, Echo Fire almost you know, absolutely capitalized on Colony's aggressive landings instead going to meet him in the air to take that uh, second stop. Oh, what a downer to immediately just trying to punish Echo Fire. It, it's hard because sometimes you imagine that Ness's uh, momentum gets completely canceled out those aerial PK fires, but it doesn't. And Colin is able to capitalize there, the down air, but still very much in behind, uh, uh, you know, Echo Fire is definitely in the lead right now. Oh, oh the shield. The shield. Yeah. <laughs> nice rising there. Ooh, thought that Colin was gonna jump out of it. Instead, wow. I'm just so surprised when young leads have that much success with the down air, because it feels like such a, like a, a big risky call out. Nevertheless, Colonies evening things up stock-wise, and now firmly in the driver's seat here, pushing Echo Fire from corner to corner. Yeah, Echo Fire is just not necessarily find, not finding the, the the neutral interactions to let him get started, but does, does get the back throw. Ooh, what a read oh. from the jump. Excellent back air call by Echo Fire to end the, the festivities here in game number one. That was an excellent back and forth. I both players, I, it just it never felt like the game was firmly in any one player's hand, but Echo Fire just continued to like. You know, you, I think this is something that you, young players talk a lot about, which is like the, the struggle to kill, the fact that you have to rely on some very di dependent kill confirms as young link in order to finally take stocks and i think that just ultimately caught up with colonies as um you know echo fire was just able to get just slightly more successful call outs there in the end what do you think Vance? that is true young link kind of has this match for chic problem more like yes the character is a menace but the character will have to deal with percent slowly escaping him for kills and confirms and even though young link does have like a lot of strengths his big weakness is the character actually likes physical range, which yeah. he can't be outranged funny enough, even though he does have those projectiles, those projectiles help out his poor, his lack of poor physical range. And that's actually something that Ness accelerates in like that forward air, that back air, that up air, that neutral air, that down air is mad disjointed. Like you kind of have to Im imagine Ness almost having a little bit of a bubble 
about the size of his like side magnet and if you're in that bubble you will get hit by one of his aerials for a young link that bubble is much smaller so you have to really really like try to whiff punish characters like ness and for young link like i said once you escape those percents it becomes mad difficult for him just yeah. all together so echo fire definitely able to take game one over colonies and like we said this is best of three territory uh no best of fives here so this puts echo fire pretty much at set point and colonies gonna have to adapt and change tactics here hope they're able to just stay in the driver's seat and as far as these combo and confirms are um concerned and off to a great start zero seven to start things off those echo fire finally getting in to start to start their game off this is, feels like a big game of jump call outs and projectile follow-ups for both players and so it's really interesting it's almost not about the initial hit but the follow-up that really matters the most Oh, fire, 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 up he big. He just had the call out there by Colonies. And he manages to mash out good SDI there to avoid getting uh, taking a baseball bat to the face. Oh, swing bada bada. Getting the reflect there. I go fire, having just a bit more of the freedom to kind of get away with rising and falling aerials, whereas Colonies is trying to play a bit more defensively, a bit more reactive, trying to just deal with echo fires um advances out of shield and finally gets the call out there there's a big uh, air dodge read getting the up air to seal deal and take stuck off number one but the yo-yo coming out and colonies it used to be a game where he's stuck at ledge yo-yo is going to be beating out that uppy every time but oh the bomb actually uh manages the mix of the timing nonetheless echo fire getting the call out there managing to avoid the grab and taking that stop <laughs> Sorry, looking here at the chat here, people saying their their piece about oh Ness. Uh, Ness is <laughs> Ness definitely is a, Ness is an excellent character offline and online. Yeah, I, I was would, gonna say he's I would actually. Not, I would not I would not write off any Ness made worth of salt. He he is definitely like he's top three online, but in my opinion, he's top ten Ooh. offline, and even then, that's still ridiculously good. Uh, but that's just my opinion, man. Don't let that be the word oh, for it, man. Big trade he's, here. But because of the the uh, just repeated damage effect of uh, PK Fire, Echo Fire able to uh, get out of that exchange and keep pushing it. Big up to up air. Good good survival DI by Echo Fire. Survives another up air. Colony's trying to make it so he can't land, but Echo Fire managed to persist. Colony's fighting right back though. Has Echo Fire quarter at ledge. Echo Fire trying to get a lot more out of these full hops here. A lot of jumps, but instead, finally, Colony is able to call his shot out of one of those landings. Taking second stock. All right, Colonies neutral there. Oof. Was that just down air that sent him the blast zone? No, Jeez. that was that was yeah, that was neutral air. Neutral air lasts a little bit longer just because the animation okay. altogether. But man, that's it. Like I said, it's also another one of the disjointed moves for Ness. For Colonies, he has a little bit of a lead here, so he can ease off and try to call out Echo Fire. But Echo Fire knows once I get this forward air train going, man, it can't stop because I could corner carry my opponent all across the stage. Uh, Colonies, honestly, he's doing a pretty solid job of just like, okay, hold control as much as possible, get a hit, and then bring it forward to yeah. let Ness be the one to try to hit me, and then I'll react afterwards. He's trying to not overextend as much, but right now, Echo Fire's actually starting to pick his moments. This might be Ooh. it. Oh my gosh, I think he just oh, wanted no. the other angle. Colonies right now, this is bad. Oh, he misspaced the yo yo. Colonies able to get back to stage, but again, oh, falling free no. to the back air. Woo! It's man. like a Mack truck. They have to ex inspect what are in those shoes, man. What are in Ness's shoes that made back air that strong? 